2nd, 2002, President Bush addressed our nation in a very solemn tone. He told us that Saddam Hussein had weapons of mass destruction and that he was also involved in the 9-11 attacks on America and that the nation of Iraq that he led was an imminent threat to the security of the United States. I looked at the president and I felt that he was lying to us. And I saw before me another president. It was August of 1964. I had just graduated high school. LBJ spoke to us on national TV. He said that our ships had been attacked in the Gulf of Tonkin in a place called Vietnam, wherever that was, and whatever we were doing there, 10,000 miles away. He was asking the Congress and the American people to back him in a, in a reply was the word he used, reply. Not one congressman had the courage to question his motives or his integrity. The veracity of what he was telling us. Not one congressman had the spine to do so. All of them gave the president carte blanche to do whatever he pleased. August 1964. Two senators descended, Grunding of Alaska, Morris of Oregon. We have to back the president when he's proposing an unconstitutional act? Since when? Since when do we have to back the president? Being in the minority doesn't mean you're wrong. If you vote for this resolution, you will live to regret it. I walked to my local recruiter because I believed that president. He would never lie about war. He would never send us the youth of America to die for a conflict based on deception. He wouldn't do that. So I signed up. I signed up for the military as though I were joining a baseball team. All I ever wanted was to be a baseball player. I wanted to hit baseballs. I didn't want to kill anybody. But here I was. I told my parents, and they were sick with grief. My mother yelled at me out of her love for me. They're going to make you a killer, she screamed. My father, for the first time, told me of his World War II experience in the Battle of the Bulge. He never boasted of his service during the war. He saved it for this moment. He told me how horrific and ungodly and senseless was mass killing. And the horrific lifelong injuries soldiers suffer, not to mention innocent civilians who were massacred during war. My parents knew about war, they were the World War II generation. In fact, that was the only demographic that opposed the invasion of Vietnam. I told my friends. They thought I was crazy. They were off to college. I told them, I'll see you in a couple of years. They said, yeah. Yeah, maybe. 
Come all ye young rebels, and list while I sing. For the love of one's country is a terrible thing. It banishes fear with the speed of a flame, and it makes us all part of the Patriot game. My name is O'Hanlon, I just turned 16. My home is in Monaghan, that's where I was weaned. I learned all my life, cruel England's to blame. And now I'm a part of the Patriot game.